hey guys how are you all okay in this video we are going to continue with our speed optimization series and we have already a quick recap I'll give you just uh, these five topics for the compulsory ones which everyone has to follow and we have already made discussed about it and made videos I have already made videos now jumping into free plugin section I'm going to teach you in this section how we are going to speed our WordPress website or optimize our WordPress website using free plugins and in free plugin section we are going to talk about these five or six topics maybe we'll add something in future I've already made a video on lazy load for which the description for which the link of, of the video can be found in the description and today we are going to talk about server response time so server response time is basically minimizing the ideal time for the server before it starts responding and you know it is it's in uh, SEO analytics and Google analytics jargon it is also called time first time to byte or time to first byte means when the first byte starts loading from the server and it, the data transfer starts taking place from the server to the browser so we have to minimize that time before the data process starts take place fine so that is we have to reduce some server response time so let's uh, quickly jump into our WordPress admin and let's see how we can go do it through uh, a simple free plugin although there can be many 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 plugins and I have tested most of them uh, but what I would do I have chosen one of the best plugins a free one that gives us maximum optimization without breaking our website although many websites although many plugins can further optimize our website but it may break our website something won't load properly uh, we won't be able to access our admin panel so we do we don't want that what we want is optimization but at not the cost of breaking our website so for that let's uh, if you I would request you to first uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and also share the video if you are liking this uh, video uh, speed optimization series so okay All right. alright fine so let's go to plugins and click add new let's install one free plugin a simple plugin a lightweight plugin that won't cost much of our server resources just write speed and this plugin should pop up okay jetpack asset okay let's go down a bit okay this one speed booster pack page speed optimization suite by optimocha this is a good plugin let's install now and while it is installing I'd like to discuss that although this plugin offers much much more features such as minification of JavaScript and HTML files but we are not going to use any of the other features but only that helps in reducing the server response time why I am saying this because this plugin I have tested on a lot of websites and this plugin doesn't really helps while doing the minification or other features are not that good so what we are going to use but the but to reduce the server response times there are features which are not found in uh, even paid plugins like WP rocket that I cannot give you assurance so let's install and activate let's quickly check the settings and we are done we are going to check the settings by let's see speed booster icon is here let's click dashboard and I'll just just follow me for this video and do the settings as I tell you to do rather than uh, doing any unnecessary things see dashboard we don't have anything just uh, some we don't have to go for caching as I already told you we are not going to use uh, caching for this plugin uh, this plugin caching is not uh, optimum for us so let's avoid it and disable this caching assets let's disable it we don't want any minification from here we don't want lazy load we have already uh, installed a3 lazy load plugin so we don't want a lazy load also special let's disable a special we don't want anything from here as I told this plugin is only good for reducing the server response time so let's go to tweaks yeah this is the section which we want to focus on so let's enable the settings as I tell tell you to do let's enable disable tweaks on enable instant page on trim query strings on self ping backs on dequi emoji scripts on post embed scripts on jquery migrate on dash icon css on da gutenberg css on heartbeat settings enable limit ports post revisions just to one 
we don't want to save any post revision auto save internal interval is fine short links on next previous post links on declutter all these features on uh, RSD link API link feed links and WordPress version on so I basically enabled all the features uh, in the tweak section and let's click hit save it's here or also it's downwards which is not visible right now so okay this this is the settings we don't need to go into tools or about so as I told just the tweaks tab we need to enable most of the features now you can uh, check your website if it is working properly if not you can disable some of the features and check what is not working however this has really improved server response time and I think the website would load more quickly with this plugin installed however as I am um, telling you repeatedly do not enable any other features just the tweaks which I have mentioned in the video just enable them and your work uh, WordPress this, uh, this plugin would integrate with your WordPress seamlessly. So that's it for this uh, video. In the next video, we are going to see uh, further any topics for speed optimization. I hope you liked the video. If you did, just uh, subscribe to my channel and share the video as much as possible. Thank you so much for watching.